Hey, my name is Adam Overecker, and I am here today to tell you about the HipShot Drop Tuner available uh, for close bases. Uh, it's one of my absolute favorite accessories, and I have it on every four string base I own and uh, some of my five strings even. Uh, it is a small lever attached to your tuners that allows you to drop a string to a different tuning. In this instance, I've got the ability to take my E string and simply by flipping that lever, I can take it down to a D. You can see the tuners match. You would never know that it's there other than this little, little lever that sticks out. Audience members, other members of the band would never know that it's there, but it gives you some serious functionality. I have it on my bases for a number of reasons, not just because I wanna be able to get those extra couple of low notes a lot of times, which I do, but also because there are a lot of bass lines that are just easier to play when the shape changes. For instance, probably the most famous bass line with that drop D tuning. And certainly you can play that on a five string bass or with other configurations, but it gets real cumbersome real fast. But by having that D down there, and you're ready to play that song, the shape is just really nice under the fingers. Another example of a way that I might use this drop D lever is on the song Superstition by Stevie Wonder, which is originally an E flat. Most people play it in E flat, and sometimes, you know, guitar players like to play it in E, but most of the time, especially with keyboard players, they'll do it in E flat. And you'll want to have that note down there without having to grab a tuner, having to plug into a tuning pedal, tune the whole thing, be ready for the song 30 seconds later, do it all over again when you gotta get to the next song, you just flip that lever down. And the way this, the mechanics of this lever work, I'm gonna turn the bass around here. You can adjust it so that it'll drop to a D, which is what I have, but you can also adjust it so that it drops to an E flat or drops to a D flat, drops to most anything else you want. And you can see that simply by flipping that lever, it just moves the tuner just enough to put it right down to where you want it. Do that on this side too and show you from over there. So sometimes I have that uh, drop D open so that I can uh, add notes to songs uh, and make them my own in ways that uh, weren't originally there. So another example. Come Together by the Beatles. And that song did not originally have this open D down here, but I really like throwing it in sometimes, especially when we get to a guitar solo moment or, you know, if we're extending the song and I want some variety, it's really nice to have it down there. Now, just to show you how quick and easy it is to flip that lever and use it, I use it pretty often mid-song. For instance, I might be playing a line that's in the key of G. And then partway through, I decide that I want a lower D. And so mid song, without having to, to take time to silence anything, without skipping a beat, I can reach over, flip that lever, have those low note notes, have the different shape options, uh, different tonal quality to the bass, and be able to flip it back up anytime that I want. It's a little, little tiny click. It, uh, nobody else in the band will notice, nobody in the audience will notice. It doesn't come through the amplifier. You don't hear the string make crazy noise as it goes back and forth. Just flip that lever and there you go. So that is the HipShot Drop Tuner available uh, as an added accessory on any close bass guitar.